Okay, this is Afterburner on the Sega 32X, and this is really a response to Long Boy's Post 1975's recent video on Afterburner on the PC Engine. And, well, it comes as a good coincidence because I've been giving the 32X a bit of attention recently and doing the, the Virtua games, and the other games I was thinking of were the, the sprite scaler conversions, which are really good. And this version's called Afterburner Complete. Although the weird thing is, if you look at the background, it's got the rotating 2. So I'm not sure if this is Afterburner 1 or 2 or a bit of both. I'm sure someone out there probably knows. Okay, so as you can see, the sprite scaling is pretty good on this. I can't quite remember what the arcade version was like. I'm sure I did play it once or twice when I was a kid, but I can't, I can't remember how much better it looks. And I remember originally playing this on the Atari ST and it looked a bit crap and it was interesting when I pl first played the the Mega Drive version of it the sprite scaling was well, it was better than the ST version and, and but it still wasn't quite up there with the with the arcade one I think that's a limitation in the Mega Drive it can't do sprite scaling but when I saw Lawn Boys Post 1975's video today on the PC Engine version, I was really quite impressed with the, as he says, it's not got sprite scaling all the way through, but it's got enough at the beginning just to, to fool you. But I think the, the 32X, it's a real shame because it seems perfectly suited for these kind of games, for the sprite scaler, because it's, it's more powerful than the Mega Drive, but not as powerful as the Saturn. And I think <clears throat> when this came out, I think people are getting tired of this style of graphics. They wanted proper th That's awful. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, let's start that again. I can't believe it. I, I got killed in like a minute. I'm not very good at this game, you can probably tell. But yeah, going back to the, the 32X, it seemed that this was a really good platform for doing games like Space Harrier and this and, and Super Thunderblade, but the one that I really wish it have come out on this platform, and and I said this on the the review of the Saturn version or waffle of the Saturn version, not exactly a review, is Galaxy Force 2. But I wonder if that was just that little bit too ambitious for this platform. I suppose you've got Gale Race as well, but that never came out on this. But I do wonder if if the 32X had come out earlier, whether it would have been you know, you know the, the perfect machine to do all these arcade conversions for the sprite scaler technology. I think we'll never know. I suppose there's a, an open question, or, or in a way inviting responses, is I know that there's a, a version of this on the Saturn, but I've never played it. So I'm not sure if it's more arcade perfect than this or whether it's more or less the same. So I think if anyone out there has the Saturn version and they're willing to do a gameplay, I'd love to hear a response just or watch a response rather, just to see how well it, it, it compares. But I like this. Although I'm crap at it. <laughs> the music's not too bad and I think the sound's quite clear. But I think the, th the thing is, the version that I grew up with was the ST version, and this is way better. So I think even though it's not arcade perfect, visually it's, <laughs> compared to the ST version it is. Ah, uh, he's going down, bang. Don't know how many more lives I've got, it says hit seven. I can't have seven lives, I can't be right. I'm waiting to get to that section where you can, ah, oh, you get um, like a weapon upgrade. I think it's a weapon upgrade, it's like a runway. Arse. But yeah, all right, okay, I'll do it one, one more time, one more time, and I'll be really cheaty get and just, 
extra easy. That's my uh, my can of style. So I might get to the next stage. What I want to get to the bit is where you refuel or get upgraded or whatever it is. You can tell I've not got there very much. There is a an afterburner three on the Mega CD, and it's not great. It's a bit like G-Lock, which was an arcade and Mega Drive game, but you you play from inside the cockpit, and you'd almost think with it, you know, the Mega CD having all the sprite scaling, that it'd look like a core design game, like um, Soul Star, but it doesn't. It it looks worse than the Mega Drive version, and I don't know why. I know it was a launch game, and I, I know it's a launch game in Japan. And I've, I've got that on a on an import. It came with a machine, but I don't remember if it came out in the UK. If it didn't, it's probably because it's not very good. That seemed to go a lot faster. I don't know if you put it in easy mode whether the levels are shorter. I think the problem with Afterburner is I don't know what I'm doing. It's I've got it so that the guns are on or, or the Vulcans are on automatic, but I find it really hard to aim at anything. And you've got the missiles that you can lock on, but I just find games like um, uh, Galaxy Force 2 are much easier to play and make a lot more sense. Whereas this, I I don't know, I don't like the targeting on it. hold down the C button, I'll just see if I can go any faster, because A slows you down and C makes you go faster. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, visually. I think, as, as I said, when this came out, it would have looked dated, and I think it, I don't know how popular this game was, but now it looks brilliant. Yes! Okay, finally got there. Yes, it's got the road effect like, um, well, Outrun, Chase HQ, that kind of game. And sprite scaling. Yeah, Longboy's Post was saying that there was a, a later level that's got a canyon on it. I'm just curious to see what that would look like on this, but I'd ne I've never got that far. So I might actually do it on this, because I've got it on very, very easy, aka Dave mode. A game that I'll have to do as a, almost a, a response to my own video is Blue Lightning on the Jaguar CD. It's a similar kind of game and it does sprite scaling. and. Technically, from a technical perspective, it, it, it's it's kind of impressive, but it just feels really rushed. Uh, it's a launch game on on the machine, and it's not that good. The Lynx game got a fairly good reputation, and I think it it's well earned. But the Jaguar CD version, yeah, <sighs> I'm not sure why that was on a CD. It's got full motion video intro and, and that kind of thing, but other than that, yeah, oh, oh, ah, that's the canyon, oh good, I think I've got another life, no, oh. oh, back, yeah, the draw distance isn't very good, so it does make you wonder if this game really is pushing the the limits of the hardware. I'm not sure how many scaled sprites it can do. Makes you wonder whether the 32X actually has support for sprite scaling or whether it's all just done in software mode. I'm not sure. Yeah, I wasn't that impressed with the canyon. I'll have to go back and play the Mega Drive version at some point and just see how that compares. But, yeah. Dunno. I, I, I'd love to see the, the Saturn one, just to see if that was any better. Ah! 
Is that it? Oh no. I'm not sure how many lives I've got. It's not clear. I think this is probably the last one. So I've got shot down loads of times. I think looking at it now, the, the draw distance isn't that good, but I don't think you really notice it on the ground sections. I think that's it. Right, yep, yeah, definitely leaving it there. I think this is the furthest I've ever got in the game. So, yeah, how do you compare this to the PC Engine version? I think it looks fairly... I mean, gameplay-wise, it looks fairly similar, uh, although it has got the, like, the proper sc uh, sprite scaling. But it's a bit low res and pixely and whatnot. But I think it's yeah, I think it's worth having on the on the 32x if you're looking for decent games, which there aren't that many. It's worth picking up this and uh, Space Harrier. So yeah, um, it's pretty good. I think I'll leave it there. Otherwise, I'll descend into waffling and whatnot. So uh, yeah, thanks to Long Boys Post 1975 for doing the video and and give me a bit of a kick up the arse to do this one and I've quite enjoyed it so thanks for watching hope you have too